avoid Zoom fatigue? Well, first of all, let's talk about why we're feeling it. This environment, the remote meeting environment, is one where we have to pay much more intense concentration in order to absorb what others are saying. And that, as an activity itself, is draining. Secondly, it's a distraction environment. We can find ourselves suddenly diverted to answer an email or a message or take a quick call off camera. And that constant switching mentally and firing back up our levels of concentration to the topic that we were initially focused on is also exhausting. Thirdly, doing what I'm doing now, the notion of the constant gaze isn't what we'd normally do if we were meeting face to face. We wouldn't normally look like we are looking at someone else in their eyes all of the time. So that too adds to the sense of fatigue that we may feel. So what can we do about it? Number one, don't multitask. Because if I am answering emails and sending quick messages and doing all of those other things, I'm actively working at an even greater level of intensity than I was before. Secondly, build in breaks. Don't have meetings that go on for four hours. And if by nature of the business in which you work, where you've got to do a technical demonstration that requires that amount of time, then please do build in regular breaks so that we can all change state. Thirdly, turn off self-view. If you can, if the platform enables it, it is debilitating to be able to see yourself. Our attention gets diverted to it. And when I say debilitating, I don't mean because, oh my gosh, we look dreadful. What I mean is because psychologically, we then form this idealized version of ourselves, which puts an increased pressure on us. Fourthly, don't forget the phone. That can also work incredibly well and mean that you don't need to be doing this quite as often.